Their mother laid them at the edge of the forest because she was too big to go in deeper. But the little sauropodlets have to. They need the cover of the deep forest. For the next few months, their only chance for survival is to remain hidden from predators amongst the vegetation. Between the trunks of huge redwood trees, the forest floor is covered in a dense layer of ferns. Beneath these, the sauropodlets immediately start their lifelong obsession with eating. Newly hatched, they only weigh a few kilograms, but they will have to grow by one ton a year until they are adults. That's an astonishing two to three kilograms a day. However, the forest is not a perfect sanctuary. When faced with danger, the sauropodlets lie very still and depend on their camouflage for protection. It may have worked this time, but all too often the sharp-eyed predator gets his meal. Not all of the landscape is covered in forest. There are vast open fern prairies, and this is where the titans of the Jurassic roam. Dinosaurs like Stegosaurus, with its distinctive row of spinal plates. These prairies are kept clear of trees by the constant grazing of such giant herbivores, and none have a larger impact on this environment than the biggest dinosaurs of all, the sauropods. There are many different types of these gigantic, long-necked creatures. These are Diplodocus, the longest of them all. For protection, they move in herds of 30 or more, and some of the older ones are over 40 meters in length. They use their very strong but stiff necks to graze over large areas with little effort. To balance their necks, they have long tails with elegant whip-like ends that are used for communication between members of the herd. Such a huge herd on the move attracts an array of smaller animals. As they eat and trample the vegetation, insects swarm around them. And insect hunters, like these damselflies, use the dinosaurs as gigantic feeding platforms. There is even a tiny flying reptile or pterosaur called Anurognathus that specializes in life amongst these giants. These pterosaurs feed on insects and spend their entire lives hanging on to the Diplodocus. They fight, feed and breed on creatures that are 150,000 times heavier than they are. Each Diplodocus drops over a ton of dung on the prairie every day. This attracts yet more insects, especially the dung beetles. Millions of years from now, the descendants of these beetles will clear elephant dung off the African grasslands. But their peculiar lifestyle started here in the Jurassic with the dinosaurs. The herd of giants moves on, carrying its own unique habitat with it. <laughs> 